What's going on, all you beautiful people? This is Manufactured Opinion here, bringing you some more Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. And today, Gogurt looks like Darth Vader's evil twin with horns. Um, that is the Nether Helm. And question of the day, is it even possible for Darth Vader to have an evil twin? I don't know. I didn't think about that. But, uh, anyways, today I wanted to talk about Cursed Loot again. And if you remember, in the video I did on the second form of the final boss... I briefly talked about the cursed loot and how the uh, the game's RNG calculator has already decided what item you will purify from said cursed loot. Now that was only partially true because I did not take vocations into account. Now what I mean by that is that the game does automatically decide what item you will get, but that will change based on what class you are and what your pawn's class is. Or excuse me, vocations. I always get those mixed up. So what I mean by that is... The game will decide what piece of armor you get if you are the yellow classes, which are the range classes. What piece of armor you'll get if you decide to, if you're the red classes, which are the fighter classes. And what armor you'll get if you are the mage classes, which are the blue classes. Now, if you s go back to the beginning of this video, I was a mystic knight and my pawn was a sorcerer. And I got two pieces of mage, uh, I got a mage weapon and a mage armor. Two pieces of mage equipment. I already have those... A bunch of those. I have like six of each of those. I forget what it is, like the Dominion Claw and something else. I have so many of those. I don't even want to deal with those anymore. So I switched over to Fighter, and I switched my pawn to Fighter, and you you just saw that I got a Warrior's Weapon, and I got the Devil Fire's Greaves. Now, uh, or Devil Fire Greaves, excuse me. Now, obviously, that's something that I'd want because Mystic Knight can wear that. Um, it seems that whatever is the prevalent vocation, you have a higher chance. Of getting equipment for that so mystic knight is red blue and sorcerer is blue so I have a higher chance of getting mage equipment if I switch to red and red I'm obviously gonna get anything I choose is obviously gonna be for the fighter classes now I switch to the range classes I switch to ranger and I switch my pawns vocation to ranger and I got two things for the yellow classes now I'm sure a lot of people will ask and I'm actually gonna just gonna show you here real quick that when I kill myself go back to fighter and fighter I still get the same items and just to backtrack a little bit here after each time I do this I'm killing myself I just want to cut it out because it um, it leaves a lot of filler in the middle of the video you guys don't want to watch me killing myself and uh, going through loading screen so that's that every time I do this I kill myself reload go to her change my vocation and do it all over again now I'm sure a lot of you will ask well what if I do what if I switch to, you know, Assassin and then make my, like, one of the hybrid classes, like Mystic Knight or Assassin, and then put my pawn to one of those? Well, you will get either two of, both of the items that you got, as you see here, I got the same bow and the same piece of armor when I was Ranger and Ranger. I switched to Assassin and Ranger, and I still got the same things. Now, if I switch to Mystic Knight and Fighter, Obviously, I may get both of the things I got when it was fighter and fighter, or I may get one of the pieces of mage equipment and one of the pieces of fighter equipment. So, it just, the game already decides what piece of armor or weapon you have. It will just change depending on what vocation you use for yourself and your pawn. So, I hope that's not too confusing. Um, if it is, just go test it out. Save before you talk to Aura. Uh... You know, purify your weapons and armor, whatever it may be. See what it is. Then change your vocations. If you are if you want, look for something that's a ranged class. And obviously you do yellow and yellow. If you're looking for something for a fighter class, do red and red. Um, this will be the best for people that use, you know... For me personally, I use Mystic Knight and Sorcerer. But I was looking for a lot of the heavy armor. And like I said, since my prevalent, my prevalent vocation there is blue, I'm going to be getting more mage items than I did... Um, the heavy armor items and it was starting to toast my beans, but um, after switching the vocation and stuff as you saw I was able to get all of the stuff that I need relatively fast. So I hope this video helped you out guys uh, I hope you're enjoying dragon's dogma dark arisen and as always I hope you're enjoying life and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye now